on a trip around the places. This time we're going to the West Coast for the Gold, we have to get off the Coastal Station. James didn't want to come with us now, but he was late. And he doesn't make up his mind fast enough. And after I came so close to being with Paul, like the birthplace around us, the afternoon for a nice day. Nice trip to McDonald's, I reckon, lad. For that, lad, um, we will update you sometime on the train. Bye bye, GG. That was Chessa and this, and this is T Tim. Alright, we're on the train now, heading towards Gosford. We are the next stop around, well, it's a limited stops train, so thank God we won't have to stop all the stops in between. There aren't many, and we will be making our way to West Gosford. McDonald's, I reckon if you say it, what would you call it, West Gosford? I say it's Gosford, more like, because it is on that side of the river. Saying, quite ramble on as we enter Bushland now. Bush on either side of us is too much. And more bush. Imagine how boring it would be to live up here. Actually, nowhere near as boring as living in Wanderbine. You'd have to do a 7k bush walk just to get to the nearest road. Hard bush track. It reminds me, watch Tim and James's video. Tim video for our bush walk with him and James and one without me and but I'm back. I wasn't gone for that long. Latest G. Yeah, yep, we're here at the West Gosford McDonald's. Funny coincidence, we just saw Frankie Gulltop driving in a car. And on what he was doing up here, he asked us the same question that we were doing up here. We sent by some people we were bored, which is what we are. So why would we go to McDonald's and go to the faraway place in the first place? Here's our meal. My large chip, large quarter pounder, large strawberry shake. Here's Tim's That's large chips. Strawberry shake. I said that. Large yeah. chips, large mighty Angus, and two <laughs> large uh, chocolate chips. shakes. He's a pig, isn't he? And, so, and here's the scene outside. Mixed weather, see so lovely clouds coming over there. Horrible blue sky there. Just as we need to English. No, no, no. Yes, but I am English. Latest, okay, and we're walking up the hill now to Wendy Drive and we will kill, keep filming till we get to my house and keep filming at my house. We won't go in the house, but we're making our way to my new house and Tim just made a really good statement. Why don't you repeat my statement, your statement, Tim? It's just I always live on hills. <coughs> Known fact, but this time, as you'll see soon as we approach the corner and keep filming, I do not have a ridiculously long driveway. As the other two houses lie on the fullest road, I live right down the bottom of like a 50 meter, 50, 50, possibly even 70 meter driveway. 100 meter actually, probably. I live right down the bottom of almost an 100 meter driveway. Right now in Victoria Avenue, I live at the top of about a 50 meter driveway. And this one we're I'm moving to, the driveway is about 10 meters at maximum, probably not even that. <laughs> so we're trying to walk sideways. <laughs> As we approach the top of the hill, look at the houses here, you can see why we chose the blind point there. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you have to move so far away from the train station? Not my fault, Tim, my parents were buying a house, so I could have been living in Tascot or even better, cooler one. Yeah. Could have been worse, Green Point, if you know what that is. Yeah. Look, another hill. Yeah. From the sold sign. Are people still sleeping there, living there, or the cars are still there? See, we got a nice little letterbox, our letterbox isn't that bad actually. And uh, stairs down. We should update you. When we get to Point Clare Station. When we get to Point Clare. We are here in Point Clare Station in the dead of night, but we're getting back before midnight, believe it. It's a record for us, isn't it, Tim? <laughs> um, yeah, as I said. Um, as I didn't say, what am I about? Um, my house. What a house. Oh, the cheese! Uh, yes, um, we happened to stop off at Coles before we got to my house, and we are now going to attempt to eat. On the train. Well, we might not eat now, we've got time to waste. On the train. On the train. This premium mainland quality cheddar masters vintage aged cheddar cheese with a distinctive sharp bite and crumbly texture 18 months carefully aged for up to 18 months 
250 grams, I swear this is the cheese you eat on crackers, not on the block itself. Products of New Zealand, New Zealand. And here's the thing that Chester purchased. I'm not as poor as boys. I did manage to pay $8 today for the bowling, I'll have you know. It is 750 milliliters of ice spray coffee. Yes. I'm going to have some now, because so I need to... Wait. Latest G's. Okay. Yes. Stack it completely. Stuff you. You do it. You're the clown, not me. It's an exhausting trip. Ow. And I hope England won in the Ashes and came first in Cricket World Bankings because that's the first thing that will become first in sport for a while. About this trip, it's not as exhausting as such trips as Barrera or Dabdo. Or Brisbane. No, Brisbane wasn't it? Oh, that was tiring, just boring. Good bye. Yes, we're up here, Good old Chatham Station. I thought, what's the last one?